In the heart of the British monarchy, a feud has been simmering, not over the throne, but over conservation efforts in Africa. This isn't just about royal duty, it's about two brothers, Prince Harry and Prince William, and their contrasting views on how to best protect the continent's wildlife. Prince Harry, who served as president of African Parks for six years before joining its board, favors a more interventionist approach. He believes in swift action to protect endangered habitats, an approach that aligns with the organization's well-equipped ranger force, often likened to a counter-terrorism unit. On the other hand, Prince William leans towards community-led conservation. He sees value in local empowerment, advocating for initiatives that allow communities to protect their own lands over time. These divergent paths reflect not just a difference in methodology, but a deep-seated feud that predates even Prince Harry's relationship with Meghan. It's a feud that is as much about ideology as it is about conservation. And so, the stage was set for a clash of royal ideologies, far removed from the pomp and ceremony of Buckingham Palace. As the African sun blazed, so too did the controversy around Prince Harry's role in African parks. This serene organization wasn't immune to the harsh realities of the world. Accusations of the utmost gravity were cast upon it when Survival International, another NGO, raised the alarm about alleged rape incidents by African Parks guards in the Republic of Congo. These claims sent shock waves through the institution, raising questions about the organization's governance and integrity. But the accusations didn't stop there. Critics began to point their fingers at the very structure of African Parks. With Prince Harry at the helm, questions arose about the lack of diversity on its board. It seemed the organization was becoming a mirror of the old world, a reflection of colonial times. Critics labeled it as green colonialism, suggesting that the conservation effort was less about saving the environment and more about maintaining an outdated, imperialist control over African lands. In the face of such serious allegations and criticism, the heat was on for Prince Harry. Would he be able to navigate these stormy waters and steer the organization back on course? Only time would tell. Caught in the crossfire of controversy, how did the princes respond? Prince Harry, despite facing criticism, has maintained his support for African parks. His commitment to the cause remains unwavering, with the organization continuing to expand its reach and influence. Their mission to protect wildlife habitats, supported by a substantial annual budget, is a testament to the prince's belief in interventionist conservation methods. However, the royal response, or rather the lack of it, has not gone unnoticed. Amidst the controversy, the Sussexes have remained conspicuously silent, notably refraining from sending public well-wishes to King Charles and the Princess of Wales during their recent hospital stays. This absence of communication further fuels the fire of their ongoing feud. The situation is complex, with the brothers' contrasting views on conservation creating a divide that extends beyond their personal relationship. Prince Harry's interventionist approach and Prince William's advocacy for community-led schemes symbolize their divergent ideologies. While the brothers' conservation efforts continue, their personal feud seems far from resolved. It remains to be seen how this royal feud will play out in the public eye and what impact this will have on their respective conservation efforts. As the dust settles, where does this leave the princes and their contrasting conservation efforts? In the heart of Africa, African Parks continues to extend its reach, expanding conservation efforts across vast protected areas. This independent organization operates on a substantial annual budget of $100 million, and its efforts are not going unnoticed. A potential Netflix documentary project is in the pipeline, which could further spotlight the organization's work and Prince Harry's involvement in it. Prince Harry, despite serving as the president of African Parks for six years and later joining its board, faces criticism for his role within the organization. Critics question his suitability for his governance role, suggesting that he lacks the necessary tools and experience to navigate crises effectively. The charity has also faced backlash for a lack of diversity on its board, with accusations of green colonialism adding a layer of complexity to the situation. On the other side of the coin, we have Prince William, who currently has his hands tied with other priorities, including the recovery of his wife. While he advocates for community-led schemes where local empowerment can protect the land over time, 
it's unlikely that he will step into a crisis management role to assist his brother with the African Parks situation. There's no doubt that the situation in Africa is complex, often blurring the line between conflict and conservation. And while African Parks' well-equipped Ranger Force has been likened to a counter-terrorism unit in defending endangered species, critics argue that this approach may not be the most sustainable or ethical. So, as we watch this royal feud unfold, we are left to ponder the future of these two brothers and their distinct approaches to conservation. Despite the controversy and criticism, both princes seem committed to their respective causes, and only time will tell how their efforts will shape the future of conservation in Africa. As the African sun sets, the royal feud persists, leaving us to wonder what the next chapter will hold for these two princes and their divergent paths in conservation. In the span of a few short minutes, we've journeyed through a royal feud of epic proportions. We've explored contrasting conservation philosophies, Prince Harry's more interventionist approach versus Prince William's advocacy for community-led schemes. We've delved into the controversy surrounding African parks, its governance, and the serious allegations it's facing. As it stands now, the royal feud persists, and African parks continues its work, with Prince Harry at its helm. As we bid farewell, remember that this is a story of royal rivalry and conservation conflict that continues to unfold. Until next time, keep watching the throne. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, Prince Harry's urgent visit to King Charles.